AI tools like large language models are very useful for improving your text and also improving your writing skills. And if you think about what a large language model is, it's a basically a, a model that produces text. So you can use these models to give some input text like your own writing and then tell it to make it better. But you can use this for many other purposes. What I'm now telling has been recorded in fall 2024 and it might be outdated in the future as this technology develops. There are basically two main classes of AI tools at the moment that can help you improve your writing. The first class is uh, using this uh, ChatGPT Cloud or, or Gemini and their web user interfaces where you, you prompt, you ask the AI to do something. So you can give some of your own text and you can ask it to provide feedback, you can ask it to rewrite it in certain ways and so on. And then uh, we have uh, specific tools like Grammarly that are there to help you write better. Let's look at the first uh, use case using prompts. And uh, I use prompts to increase simplicity. So oftentimes we write in overly complex way. We have unnecessary words, we have sentence structures that are complex where simpler sentence structures would do and so on. So AI can greatly help you to simplify your text to get your point across more effectively. Uh, this use of AI is allowed by the university policy. So we allow you to use AI to improve the language of your own, own schoolwork or assignments. Of course, if you solely rely on AI, then you might be in trouble when you need to communicate without the use of AI, such as for example in a meeting, or if you need to write somewhere where you don't have access to these tools. So being able to write uh, cohesively and simply it is uh, a useful skill even in the age of AI. The first thing is that if we use these uh, techniques for prompting, if we use uh, ChatGPT for example in our writing, we need to have like a good prompt. So what do we ask the AI to do? So we can give it our text, but what instructions do we give the AI? And if you are new to prompting and you don't know how you should prompt the AI, I, there's a good technique that I learned from this uh, video by, by the Claude staff and uh, they told that one good way to develop the prompt is to tell the AI to develop the prompt for you. So here I'm asking the AI to develop a prompt that will help me write better or improve my writing and then I ask it to interview me to develop the prompt. And then it asks what is my level, what is my target audience and so on. When I answer these questions, I give the AI some context. So it knows that we are now talking about academic writing. We are talking about different problems that I have. For example, I might have problems with clarity and structure. Then it focuses more on those and, and so on. Then we get a prompt and uh, here is the prompt that it asks us to, give, uh, to try. So this is a lot more specific and a lot more useful than asking the AI just to uh, tell me how I can improve this writing because it doesn't know what is the writing context. So how you write always should depend on the context. And uh, this is the, uh, the full prompt and uh, then uh, what we can do with this prompt is now use the prompt and then uh, give some badly formatted text. So I'm using this prompt from here and I generated some uh, poorly formatted text here. This is in the same uh, in the discussion and uh, then I asked it to give feedback based on the prompt that I just produced and then it gives me feedback. So how I improve clarity and structure. These are some of the points that I included in the prompt and uh, then it uh, gives specific suggestions on how I can do, how I can improve the text. I can also ask the AI to rewrite the text. So that was just like one very long sentence in, in a single paragraph and then it, it produces this text that has uh, different subsections and it includes comments on why this kind of, of writing is better than my original writing. So you can use these AI tools as a writing coach for you and the, the steps for doing this would be to first develop a prompt you can just ask the AI to interview you and then uh, based on that interview develop a prompt that you can help to uh, improve your writing. Then you get the prompt 
and then you add that prompt to a new session and then you add your text and then the AI gives you text based on a prompt developed specifically for you to improve your writing. I don't use it this for my own writing because I have quite a lot of experience in academic writing, but I've used this technique to guide doctoral students and I find it very useful to just if I, there's a long, long paragraph instead of uh, writing that there's this and that problem, I just tell that this has these specific problems like lack of unity, lack of cohesion, and I ask AI to give feedback on cohesion and unity and suggestions for improvement, then I email it back to the student and then I instruct the student then to tell it how to do it themselves. So if you struggle with, with like having too long paragraphs or too complex sentences, then uh, this is a very good tutor for you. It's like an individual, a personal English writing coach. Another thing that I actually use is this, and this is a real session that I've actually used in an article writing. And sometimes when you have a long sentence, you can make it simpler and more readable, but it takes some effort to do so. And uh, if I have a long sentence and I don't immediately see a way to make it simpler, I might just ask uh, the AI to do it. So I, I, give, I, I prompt it to write back whatever I give you in more concise way. So when I, when I write something, write it back more concisely, and then it uh, writes it more concisely. I don't usually use the, uh, the AI provided text as such, but it usually gives me an idea on what I can take away, or it gives me an idea of an alternative structure for a sentence that is simpler and easier to understand. So this saves a lot of time thinking about which words do I cut, which sentences I cut. It's a highly useful technique. Another thing that I use uh, regularly is Grammarly. So Grammarly is like a spell checker on superpowers. And there are a couple of different versions. There is Grammarly Desktop, which works across uh, all applications. Then there's Grammarly Word Plugin. And then there's the Grammarly Browser Plugin. The, the Word Plugin only works in the Word and the Browser Plugin only works in the Browser. I've found that the Grammarly Desktop works the best for me. And that is what I recommend to you. But at the time of recording, the university is, is banning Grammarly from the university staff because it doesn't uh, uh, abide by the, the European Union data protection rules. And that's for a good reason. So if we work with our data that is confidential, then Grammarly might start to suggest something that is confidential data, which means that it has actually uh, uploaded the confidential data to be analyzed somewhere on the cloud. And that's not acceptable. But if you are a student and you don't work with confidential data, then this shouldn't be a problem for you. And the free version of the Grammarly, it's, it's a no-brainer. You should use it because it improves your writing. Now, limitations. All these AI tools are very good at improving form, but not writing, not the content of writing. There are many times where I've seen Grammarly uh, provide the suggestion that changes the meaning of my sentence. So you can't just uh, click on all the suggestions that Grammarly provides and accept them. So there's human intervention is required. The same thing with AI. I have embarrassed myself by using, uh, getting a fact from AI that is incorrect and then presenting that in an email. And without, I, I did check it, but I checked it carelessly. So it was, uh, I ended up uh, writing something that was not correct based on what AI brought me. And uh, second caveat is, is writing and thinking go hand in hand. So if you completely outsource your writing to AI, then you're not thinking. So at least for me, I, I think when I write, and if I don't write, then my thinking tends to be on a very superficial level. So writing is an essential thing, but what you can do, use these tools for is, is polishing the, de the delivery, but still expressing yourself concisely is a valuable thing. For example, if you are in a negotiation position where you don't have access to these AIs or you need to quickly write something and you don't have for some reason access to these tools. But AI can still make things more concise as uh, this example shows.